Hi, this is Ron McTube playing the Hunter Classic on PC and we're on White Hot because we're celebrating the 10th year of Classic. Can't believe it, 10 years we've been playing it. It's its birthday. What are, where we started, we're doing a retro hunt. I started in 2009 March, that's when it came out. On the wicket, it's April, it wasn't April, it was March. And we're going to use some retro guns, what came out at the start. 243, the 3006 and the Mew Mew Caller. <laughs> I call it the Mew Mew Caller, it's not called that. Uh, but obviously you got the Grunt Caller, but I've got fond memories of uh, walking through what art. Uh, giving this a quick uh, Mew Mew. Also, it's St. Patrick's Day, so take part in some of the missions, competitions. Uh, you get a tower with that, getting uh, seven pots of gold. You can do that while you're hunting. Let's take a look at how we used to hunt on White Art before tents came in. Obviously, tents, in my opinion, made the game a little easier because you dropped straight in where you wanted to go, straight in the hot spot. Previously, like I'm drawing now, that's what I would do on White Art. I would run, follow all those towers, and then I'd start hunting around the middle uh, for my main areas but now obviously with tents you can just drop straight in there if you was at this lodge down here obviously you run up there and you have to cross over the land split then up to the middle so it's about 30 to 40 minutes difference to get to the middle part of White Hot, which is the main area uh, but the thing is when you visited all these different towers sometimes you get a nice animal so you're sort of missing out on animals uh, by not uh, visiting the old style like running or walking uh, on foot and just using tents so I think sometimes it can benefit from not actually using tents but obviously it takes more time so let's load up see what we can get hopefully find some pots of gold along the way and get some animals with our guns we're using today which is a 243 and a 306 now I'm on elk meadow which was originally called I said this uh, called it used to call it this and NA outdoors made a map a very detailed one if you can find it if you're wondering where we are, we're in Tower 6. We've got coyotes coming in. How big is that one? Well, that's quite a good one. Ideally, you want up to about a 30 kilo, which is 60, which is the top score. Uh, you get groups of them. Sometimes you get two groups. Oh, there's some quite nice big ones here. Couple up to like 55 and stuff. You want the lead dog. Normally, he's a little bit bigger if you can find him. You might get lucky. It looks like this one's chasing this turkey. You see that? You can see the turkey being spooked. But I'm quite glad I caught that. Look, he's running away from the coyote. We're going to have to stop him with his 243. Come here, coyote. See how big he is. <laughs> Down you go. So, 243, still a decent weapon. I could probably shoot a couple more, but it's more about just uh, having fun on white hot. I'm not out for, for the trophies today, just out enjoying the game, reminiscing a little bit. Ten years. It's going to be interesting what they're going to be doing this year. There's uh, talk about uh, licensing and uh, how, how they're redoing them and stuff, so it's going to be interesting how that works out. What we've got there? 52.5, so not a bad yoke. Tower 6 in the background. We're going to head over to the middle meadow after this. We might find some more animals on the elk meadow where we are. We're at the top of it, so I'm going to head towards the road at the bottom. Both ends are good. You often find elk, obviously, because that's why it's called elk meadow in the first place. <laughs> what is your key memory from when you first start playing Hunter? How long did it take to get your first deer? I can tell you now. When I first started playing, it took me two days to get my first deer. <laughs> so it wasn't a breeze. Uh, it's not like it is now. Uh, I did really struggle when I first started playing. But obviously there weren't as many animals back then. Uh, you only had like basic deers to start with. There was no turkey. There was no elk. Elk come later. Uh, when the 30 uh, 30.06 come out, it uh, was about the same time. About a month or two later. Um, the store come out in April. We had a warden status as well, where you basically you used to get stuff on trial for a month, and then after a month, if you didn't like that gun and it ran out, then it would get removed. But if you wanted to keep it, then you brought it. Got a nice elk in front of us. Let's try the 306. That see if we can take him down. There's a group of them, but this one is the better one. Should be over 300. Come on. 
think we've got him. Yeah, we've got him. When the 3006 originally come out, it used to fire left. It was a weird bug, and it used to frustrate the hell out of you. <laughs> you'd line up, uh, you'd get the gun. I don't think there was a scope originally for it. No, they weren't. Uh, so you'd be iron sighted, and you'd be firing at these elk, trying to knock them down, and they'd be like, body, body, and you're like, I'm hitting long heart. I don't know why it's doing this, and it was because it was firing left. They did fix it shortly afterwards. Uh, but it was quite a funny and annoying bug at the same time. Let's take a look at this elk to see what it's like. Looks like a, quite a decent one. Ideally you want over 300 when you're after elk. But quite a nice rack. Not a monster, but quite a decent one. 306 knocked him down well. I don't really use it very often because I still prefer the 300 over it. 309, let's take a trophy shot. Drop in the comments when you first started playing. Uh, what was your favourite animal you shot up to date? Uh, your favourite trophy animal or your favourite instance of playing the game? The, some instances are not even about big animals, are they? It could be a small animal or something funny that's happened. Uh, one of my favourites, uh, which you probably won't like me saying, was my mate uh, Massacre was playing in a mule deer comp because mule deer used to be on White Hot before they got swapped to Loggers Point and he was in a competition and he spotted a really big mule deer he probably would have won him the comp it was like 230 plus and you didn't have true racks back then when we used to call them diamond racks because it was all the big ones had like a diamond rack in the middle sort of shape and uh, what happened was he seen it on top of this hill and he shot it and the mule deer rolled down the hill and into the water this, up, this was up the north of White Hart and basically back then the animals don't float back in <laughs> so he had this uh, comp when he mule day in the water and he couldn't collect it he was going absolutely ape uh, but it was really funny at the time but yeah the, the animals never floated back in uh, they, they did that mechanic a little bit later we also used to have a boat on white hot uh, they used to go around a uh, plane on loggers point um, I don't know why they actually took those out we're in the middle tower at the moment. This middle tower is very good. We've got turkeys here, black tail. You get elk on here, coat is a very good place. Call some turkeys in. There's also trees you can climb on white heart. Um, if you, well, you used to be able to set it to lowest. I don't know if you can still do it now. Got black tail coming in. It's no good uh, using the 3006 because we'll spook everything. So if we take this with a snake bite, and uh, hopefully carry on without the other animals spooked. Snake bite was the original bow that was released. Uh, the other bows come uh, shortly afterwards, but I still prefer the snake bite over the other bows. When turkey first come out for the hunter on White Hart, they originally used to score over 90. So it was quite a change, they knocked them down to 70. I won the first comp uh, for them when they come out for the hunter always remember that they moved the black tail from loggers point onto white hot which caused quite an uproar at the time any old members would tell you about that because mule deer are one of the favorite species of people and everyone loves well a lot of people did love white hot the best uh, at that time uh, so it's quite a big upheaval to a lot of players but they changed it they also changed the scoring of how the black uh, tail used to score they used to score to like 240 odd and now uh, they score about 190-ish, up to about 200, so quite a change in scoring. Um, and then the mule deer obviously went on there. No like mechanics changed really, but uh, the scoring was quite a little bit different. Let's take the mew mew off. Uh, just put my callers out normally have them, because it's uh, messing me up a little bit. Here's a grunt caller. I used to like doing long distance shots on there before everyone started knowing about the Pythagoras theorem and all that. Basically what you used to do was find a meadow with the longest distance and the draw distance and then pull off the shot. That's what you used to do for like uh, King of the Whitetail distance shots. So if you could get as close to sort of 220 meters as possible with free Whitetail, you'd win uh, the comps. And uh, used to win quite a few doing that. It used to be uh, quite annoying. Sometimes frustrating if you messed it up. This meadow is good because you can see all the way back and I know to the back of this meadow you can kind of pull these shots off quite simple. Got some black tail coming in. Got loads of animals here, quite surprised how many is here. 
Another female blacktail. Plenty of male blacktail around. Plenty of turkeys. Let's see if we can get something decent, shall we? When I'm thinking about my favourite species, uh, I've enjoyed hunting in classic for the last 10 years. I'd say elk is probably my number one. I've done a lot of videos on elk, I've killed a lot of big elk, and I think they're probably my favourite. Um, do really enjoy them. Red deer, quite high up there. Coyotes, which might surprise a few of you, uh, is also up there. I've spent a lot of time hunting them, and I really do enjoy hunting them. That's why I've included them in the video. Uh, I did spend... <laughs> about six months when they first come out i can remember when they come out at night we, everyone was waiting for them uh, it was in summertime and it was like one two in the morning and there was two thousand some people on the forums waiting for them to release that's how you know i mean have that many people on the forum waiting at that time at night just for them to release uh so yeah ron was really onto those i was killing about 20 a day trying to get in the hall of fame because there was a thing on where you had to kill as many as possible over a certain period of time and then he got put in the hall of fame i was leading that but there was a problem with emote and avalanche at the time they didn't know whether the game was going to continue luckily avalanche took them over sorted it out and the game continued but ron didn't get put in the hall of fame so after that ron didn't care about the hall of fame <laughs> just didn't bother uh, but that's just a little thing i thought to say about but i killed like hundreds and hundreds of these coaties um Spent a lot of time hunting them. Come on, Blacktail. Not a bad one. <sighs> Down you go. Pheasants are quite nice. I like hunting those. Uh, like I say, not all massive big trophy antlered uh, animals are my favourites. I like turkeys, uh, pheasants. There's a lot of animals I do like, which some people probably don't like. If you want to know my least favourite ones, which probably not everyone knows, foxes and rat deers <laughs> rat deers is if you want to know what rat deers i mean roe deers roe deers and uh, foxes now nah, I, I just i don't enjoy hunting them at all uh, it's nice when you see a really big roe deer i suppose and i have shot ro uh, rare ones albino ones you name it ones but they just don't do it for me roe deers something about them but some people probably love them but that's a good thing we're having such variety in the game everyone's got a, a species they kind of like more uh, than others and some people have got ones where they're like I hate you <laughs> what other interesting changes can I think about or things um, back in the day there used to be a little broadcast banner that used to go across the bottom now I think this was one of the biggest mistakes being removed from the game because a lot of us really loved it what used to happen was when you was in a competition say there was 50 of you in a white tail comp and say you or one of your friends shot, I don't know, the leading one. Across the bottom would come up, Ron McTube has just shot a 170 whitetail, blah, blah, blah. It moves into first position. And then all your friends would see that. And then you get a little message because you could type to each other in game as well. You didn't have to be in the same multiplayer lobby because multiplayer weren't there. But you could type and like a little message pop up. Uh, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. Well done, Ron. That was a nice bit of interaction and I think they shouldn't have removed that. I can't remember why they removed that, but that was absolutely brilliant. In competitions, it's really good. And it made it tense as well because as soon as you've seen that banner start coming, you think, I've had to be knocked out first or second or whatever. So it put a little bit of edge on to when you're playing as well. So it added quite a lot and I wish they'd have kept that. It was a real good thing. Multiplayer obviously came in, what was that, about 2014? Something like that. Animations changed as well. The older animations, ooh, bit of a touchy one with that. Some animations on the old way was actually better, I think. Some are not bad now. Multiplayer, I'll have to see if I can get that, but I've got the first multiplayer footage on video, but I haven't shown it before. I'll have to see about that. So that's been me, Ron McChew. We've been reminiscing about playing the Hunter Classic for 10 years. Hopefully it goes on for another 10 years. Really enjoyed it, great fun. Hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels and thanks for watching. Bye bye.